28 years old. He was on drugs. He had been previously in trouble for uh, sexually assaulting a minor. So now he's free from that. He's on drugs. He steals a car. The police get behind him. He doesn't pull over. He goes on a high-speed pursuit chase. He crashes into a tree. The car catches on fire. His girlfriend is in the passenger seat. She dies in the fire. This is who he is talking about. This is Wesley Phelps. He's 28 years old. He was on drugs. He had priors for burglary and assaulting a minor. He led police on a high-speed chase, crashed his car, and his girlfriend died. And Judge Sybil Reynolds gave him three years. But on the same day that Judge Sybil Reynolds gave him three years, he gave Lakeith Smith 65 years. Lakeith is 15 years old. Him and some other kids were breaking into an unoccupied dwelling. The cop showed up. The kids ran. The cop shot a Dante Washington, which is Lakeith Smith's best friend, shot a Dante in the back three times. Due to Alabama's felony murder law, Lakeith Smith was sentenced to 65 years for the murder of a Dante, even though he didn't hold the weapon or shoot anybody. This happened on the same day in the same court by the same judge. 28-year-old who's actually responsible for somebody dying. 15-year-old who's actually not responsible for anybody dying. Three years, 65 years. If you can't see the problem here, you're choosing not to see the problem here. Number one, this is clearly racism. Number two, felony murder is a bullshit law. Number three, go to justiceforlakeithsmith.com. See the facts of the case. Learn Lakeith's story. Sign the petition. And most importantly, please listen to me. Please listen to me. Most importantly, get the word out. We need every content creator, big, small, and in between to make a video and put the story of Lakeith Smith in the home of every American. Everybody needs to know this story. And injustice is currently in progress in Montgomery, Alabama. Lakeith has been locked up for eight years. They didn't even try him until he was 18. He spent three years in jail waiting on a trial. Bring Lakeith home. We need you to share his story. That's it. Just share his story. Please share Lakeith's story.